Okay, this is the fourth episode of the JavaScript interview question series. So in this one, you're given the situation where there is a function that has defined parameters and calling the function with different number of numbers of parameters. This is something that JavaScript just allows. We need to know though, if the number of parameters that we're passing in here actually equals the number of parameters here. So for the first one, one parameters being passed in, we don't have a match. For this one, there are two, we do have a match. And for this one, there's three, there won't be a match. So how would I write a code inside this function that will say yes or no, it'll log something out to the console saying whether or not you do have a match for the number of parameters. So the starter code is down inside the description below. You'll see a, a link to the code just for that. You can download it and try this out. And I will pause for a second to see if you can figure that out. And then we'll come back and I'll cover the solution. Okay, welcome back. So what we're going to do here is we need to look at two different parameters that are going to be available, two different values that can be found. We need to do an if statement. We know that. So we'll have an if else condition. You could use a ternary operator as well, but I'm just going to do this. We'll have console log statements in either one. And we need to write out whether we have a match or we don't have a match. So simple enough. The whole thing comes down to what do you put inside this if statement? Well, we have a couple of parameters. One, there is a variable called arguments, which is always available inside of every function. This tells us the number of things that are being passed in. So here it would say one, two, and three. So it's, it's similar to an array. It's a collection of the things that are being passed in here. So we can find the length property on that. That will tell us. For arguments.length, this will come back saying one, two, or three. Now, the trickier thing is, how do you know how many things have been defined inside of here? Well, for that one, we need to look at our function, which in this case is called f. So f dot length. This is a parameter or a property rather of every single function that you ever write. There is always going to be a length property for the function. And that length property represents the number of arguments that are being passed in here or that are defined here. So if arguments dot length equals f dot length, then we know that we do have a match. So what I want to do here to test this, I'll just bring up my console, my terminal down here, and we will run this script. And of course, it's always a good idea to save your code before you try to run it. There we go. So there's the three times that our function f was run. So no match for the first one, the second one was a match, and the third one was no match. So just a couple of parameters for you to remember. Length is the property of the function that tells you how many things have been defined right up here. And arguments is the array like structure of all the elements that have been passed in all the parameters that have been passed in to the function. So here one, two, and three. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave those in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.